Hello graduates, I am Melba Spooner, Dean of the Reich College of Education. To celebrate your commencement milestone, we in the Reich College of Education would like to honor your achievements and your accomplishments. Today, we will hear from our student speakers, Alexis Borlais and Diamond Sloan Couch, as well as recognize our Student Teacher of the Year. Your graduation is the next step in your amazing journey. We celebrate with you the amazing relationships you have developed with faculty and staff who have served as teachers, mentors, and role models. I am truly honored to serve as dean of a college that produces such outstanding graduates. We thank you for being part of our great academic community. And as our most enduring legacy, please know you will always be a part of Appalachian and the Wright College of Education. Fred Rogers reminds us that whether we're a preschooler or a young teen, a graduating college senior, or a retired person, we human beings all want to know that we're acceptable, that our being alive somehow makes a difference in the lives of others. I challenge each of you to go forth and impact education in your community, whether as a teacher, counselor, therapist, administrator, or educational leader. I challenge you to be intentional in all that you do, to be an informed advocate for yourself and for others, to practice inclusive excellence, and to stay interconnected with your peers, your professors, and your college. I am proud to be a part of this celebration with you, and I wish you much success and much happiness. Thank you and best wishes for a wonderful summer and future. Congratulations, graduates. You are first. Hello, what an honor it is to stand before the Wright College of Education and to stand before the class of 2021. With the year we have had, I stand in awe of the class of 2021 for making it to this point, for persevering in the face of adversity, for finishing strong amidst a national pandemic. I would love to stand here before you today and share how it was my passion for education that got me through to this point, but that would not be truthful. In the spring of my sophomore year, I tragically lost both of my parents. The world, as I knew it, was turned completely upside down. For a time, I sat and questioned my purpose and my pursuit at Appalachian State University. I questioned whether I would be well enough to carry on as an education major, to carry on in the middle grades department. I questioned how someone drowning in grief could reasonably go out into a classroom and advocate for their students like they should. I lost my voice. It wouldn't be true if I said to you that it was by my own doing that I pulled through and made it to this day, standing before you as a commencement speaker. My voice did not magically reappear. It was by the graciousness of the Lord and of those around me that I have found my voice. It was the student in my classroom who opened up to me about losing his mother on a day that I was particularly stricken with grief. It was the local family who graciously and mercilessly took me in and allowed me to find a safe shelter in their home. It was the professors and the mentors who brought me food and encouraged me to allow myself time to heal. It was the family who reached out to provide a helping hand even from across the country. It was the middle grades department who loved me unconditionally. It was the sixth grade team at Hardin Park School in Boone who took me in and allowed me to learn from them. It was the friends who would open up their dorm rooms at six in the morning to allow me to cry in their arms. It was the scholars with diverse ability students living fully in their joy at their opportunity to be at App State. See, the people around me helped me to find my voice again. They inspired me to use my voice as a joyful vessel, regardless of how shaky and weary it may be. As we go out into the world, we have an opportunity, no, an obligation to use our voices. You may be leaving with a voice ready to proclaim your purpose to the world. You may be leaving with a voice weary 
and shaky from shouting in anger at the injustices in our world. You may be leaving with a voice unsure of what is next for you and where you're going. Wherever and whatever your voice may be, you have a voice. For me, my community of people that God placed in my life gave me a voice. I leave you with this. As you venture out into the great unknown of what is next for all of us and for our world, remember your community at App State. Use it to propel your mind to see the good and rejoice in your voice. A popular African proverb reads, if you want to go quickly, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. Let us go out together, class of 2021. Let us bring our voices together with a harmony of community we can always lean back on. That community is at state. Let's see how far we can reach. Congratulations, Wright College of Education graduates. Congratulations, class of 2021. I cannot wait to see the magnitude that you will shake the world with. Thank you. Hello, graduating class of 2021. I'm honored and so excited to be here as your graduate student commencement speaker. And what a wild and unpredictable season we found ourselves in. How could we have imagined that our worlds would have changed so dramatically? Who thought that they would have to virtually rally a class of eight-year-olds or reflect with a group of angry teens who won't turn on their cameras or try to get six-year-old siblings to focus and stop playing with the video filters for five minutes? Our practicum and internship experiences were the intensive boot camp training of virtual education and telehealth. And we learned more about empathy, grace, and quickly adapting to meet our students and clients right where they're at. Our time here has been characterized by quarantine during COVID-19, Zoom fatigue, Black Lives Matter during a continually grueling fight to dismantle systems of oppression, as well as political stress and anxiety as teachers, counselors, educators, and therapists, we have been trained at a monumental and game-changing point in history. Even those more experienced in our field, our faculty, our supervisors, they didn't see this coming. How could they have? This has been our training. We were tasked with finding ways to reach our clients and students and to find meaningful and creative, therapeutic, educational, effective ways of doing so. Congratulations. This means that you are the perfect person to carry on the profession, to take on the lessons learned here in this time and use it to take care of ourselves as well as the folks around us. So what are those lessons? For me, number one, rest. Take a nap, get eight hours of sleep, take mandatory breaks in your day, breathe deeply and mindfully. Number two, exercise. How do you feel good in your body? After back-to-back -back clients or students, classes and meetings, what does your body need? How do you physically know when you are safe and comfortable, especially for black and brown and queer bodies? Find that physical movement that honors you and brings you home. Number three, advocate. Use your power and privilege in the classroom and in the therapy room to uplift and empower. Outside of those rooms, how will you continue to embody justice, empathy, and community? I hope you take these and other lessons learned to shine as we take this new chapter by storm. Congratulations, class of 2021. You are right where you are needed. Thank you. Today, we are excited to celebrate our spring 2021 graduates. As one of the associate deans in the College of Education, I applaud you for choosing this selfless profession and I'm confident that you will represent Appalachian State University well. We would now like to recognize a special group of students who are our finalists for the Appalachian State University's 2020-21 Student Teacher of the Year. Having served as the Director of Clinical Education for the last three years, I've had the privilege of working with all of our student teachers, their university field supervisors, and the clinical educators who host our teacher candidates in their classrooms. 
Today, we are celebrating 272 students who have completed a rigorous teacher preparation program and who we are now sending out into their own classrooms. I am so proud of all of our students. They are transitioning from a student of teaching to a teacher of students. As we celebrate the accomplishments of all of our graduates, we want to recognize our 2021 Student Teacher of the Year finalist. These students were nominated by their clinical educators, their university field supervisors, and or faculty members. They then submitted a collection of materials to be considered for this award and went through a competitive process to become a finalist. Between the fall and spring semesters, over 125 student teachers were nominated for this award. I believe that this is a testament to the quality of our students, as well as our teacher preparation programs. Our program faculty were tasked with the difficult job of narrowing that list down to eight finalists. We will start with our fall 2020 finalists. All of these students graduated in December of this academic year. First is Hannah Koch. Hannah was a music education major concentrating in instrumental music. She did her student teaching with Paul Rowe at Apex Friendship High School in Wake County. Hannah has since moved to New York City and is currently working on becoming a certified teacher in New York. Upon being named a Student Teacher of the Year finalist, Hannah said, it is such an incredible honor because I know I come from a group of worthy educators. The Fall 2020 Music Cohort is full of such strong and dedicated teachers that I really admire. Next is Nathan Mitten. Nathan Mitten was a history education major. He did his student teaching with Terry Henthorne at High Brighton High School in Caldwell County. Nathan is currently teaching eighth grade social studies at William Lenore Middle School in Lenore. Nathan shared that his passion for teaching was influenced by many different educators along the way. His 10th grade social studies teacher was engage, engaging and fun and showed how history impacts our real lives. There were many other mentors and teachers throughout his college career who also offered advice and support. These models have inspired and motivated him to do the same for his students. Our next finalist is Ashlyn Quick. Ashlyn was an elementary education major. She did her student teaching with Ann Suko at Bethel School in Watauga County. Ashlyn is currently pursuing her master's degree in reading education with a certificate in autism from Appalachian State. This decision stems from part of her teaching philosophy, which is to always be learning and growing to develop her practice. Ashlyn modeled this philosophy during student teaching and said, I'm very proud to be a representative of the elementary education cohort and want to point out that all student teachers deserve to be proud of what they accomplished amidst a global pandemic as an emerging teacher. Our last finalist for the fall 2020 semester is Hannah Rhodes. Hannah was a special education major. She did her student teaching with Heather Franklin at Newland Elementary School in Avery County. Hannah is currently pursuing her master's degree in special education at Appalachian and is also a teaching assistant at Newland Elementary with K-5 students. Hannah became a special education teacher because she believes that everyone has a potential to be their best selves and she wants to support that process. She is honored to be a Student Teacher of the Year finalist and recognizes this honor is a reflection of her love for her students. She says that without them, she wouldn't be here. They inspire her. Now we will recognize our Spring 2021 finalist. All of these students are graduating this semester. First is Alexis Borlaes. Alexis is a middle grades education major. She did her student teaching with Jamie Hayes at Hardin Park School in Boone. When asked about being recognized as a student teacher of the year finalist, Alexis said, being a student teacher of the year finalist gives me confidence in my ability to lead a classroom and advocate for students. My student teaching experience has filled me to the brim with the kindness of students, the mentorship of the sixth grade team at Hardin Park School and the support of the College of Education. Student teaching has been a time of challenge, but also a time of growth. This nomination reiterates the growth that I have experienced during my time student teaching and further drives my passion for the profession. Next is Carmen Crook. 
Carmen is a math education major. She did her student teaching with Jessica Rowe at Wilkes Central High School in Wilkes County. When asked why she chose, chose math education as her major, Carmen shared that the close that she chose this program because of her love for mathematics. She wishes for others to see how beautiful the world of mathematics is. Many students do not enjoy the subject and in some ways fear it. Carmen wants to help eliminate that fear in her future classroom by showing students how interesting the subject can be. She also loves working, interacting, and collaborating with high school students. Our next finalist is Megan Hagler. Megan is an elementary education major and she did her student teaching with Natalie Mackey at Gamewell Elementary School in Caldwell County. Megan said that being a student teacher of the year finalist represents the time, effort, and determination that she put into her student teaching experience. She said, being a student teacher of the year finalist is confirmation that all of my work at Appalachian has paid off and everything that I have done up until this point has absolutely been worth it. I am beyond honored to be chosen as a finalist and this honor is definitely a testament to how well my wonderful professors in the Wright College of Education prepared me for the student teaching experience and my career in education. Our last finalist for the spring 2021 semester is Nathan Hartman. Nathan is a music education major. He did his student teaching with Clint McCaskill at Heritage High School in Wake County. When asked about being recognized as a student teacher of the year finalist, Nathan said the following, being a finalist gives me reassurance that I am making a difference and that I am exactly where I am meant to be. Music has always been an integral part of my life. It is the reason I have so many connections to such amazing people, and I would not be who I am today without it. There are so many amazing things that can be expressed and shared through music, and it can be sometimes difficult to describe these things in words. It is an experience like no other that I want to share with my future students. By doing this, I hope to impact the lives of others like mine was. In addition to this, I have always found comfort and joy in assisting and empowering others. Seeing other people succeed makes me sincerely happy. Music edu education allows me to continue doing all of this as a career. Let's now recognize all of our finalists one more time. Congratulations to all of them on an exceptional job in student teaching. The recipient of the Student Teacher of the Year Award will advance to the state level to represent Appalachian State University. The North Carolina Student Teacher of the Year Award is sponsored by the North Carolina Association for Colleges and Teacher Educators, also known as NCACTI. At the annual fall forum, NCACTI will recognize an elite group of student teachers from each of its member institutions and name the 2020-2021 North Carolina Student Teacher of the Year. Legislators, educational professionals, and members of the media will be invited to raise awareness of the great work member institutions are doing in producing quality teacher candidates for North Carolina public schools. This award is an opportunity to recognize our best and brightest teacher education candidates and to share the good work of NCACTI institutions and school partners with a broader audience. We are proud to have one of our graduates represent Appalachian State University. And now, along with Dr. Melba Spooner, Dean of the Wright College of Education, and Dr. James Dowdett, Dean of the Hayes School of Music, it is my distinct honor to announce the 2020-21 Student Teacher of the Year, Mr. Nathan Hartman. As Dr. Lambert has already stated, Nathan will now go on to represent Appalachian State University at the state level. We are very proud of him and know that he will represent us well. Congratulations, Nathan. I want to personally take a moment to thank the faculty members who helped us select these finalists and ultimately our Student Teacher of the Year. A lot of time and effort went into this process. Again, congratulations to Nathan, our finalists, and all of our graduates and their families. First, I listen. First, I care. First, I engage. First, 
I encourage. First, I recognize potential. From the Reich College of Education, congratulations, graduates. You are first.